Our next caller is Jacqueline from Ohio. Hey, Jacqueline, how can we help you? Hi, I just wanted to start by saying thank you, just like everybody else does. Um, I've really enjoyed your content and have definitely been utilizing your expertise that you guys put out there. Thank you. Um, so yeah, thank you. It's commendable what you guys are doing for the fitness industry. Awesome. Um, so essentially my question is, while I'm cutting, should I be focusing on the absolute muscle number versus the muscle percentage? Because although I, I have a science background, so I understand the differences, but I was just curious which one I should prioritize mm -hmm. while I'm cutting. And if it's a bad thing that one's going down and one go one's going up or vice versa. Yeah, no, this is a mm. great question. Okay. So for somebody listening right now, that's like, what is she talking about? Okay. Yeah. So absolute number would be total pounds of lean body mass, right? Percentage would be a percentage of your overall body weight. So let's say somebody loses 10 pounds on the scale, but loses two pounds of muscle. So that means eight pounds of body fat. They lost two pounds of muscle, but as a percentage of their overall body weight, their muscle mass percentage may go up because it's a percentage of your overall body weight. Okay, so this can be confusing because with body fat, it's very clear. What you want to look at with body fat is percentage. Total number is not that big of a deal. It's percentage that matters because you know body fat on a 200-pound man, if you slap that on a 100-pound man, all of a sudden, same body fat now makes that person much fatter because they have so much less lean body mass. But when it comes to muscle, it's a little different. Total makes a big difference. If you lose two pounds of muscle, you lose two pounds of muscle. You've lost two pounds of metabolically active, insulin sensitive, glycogen storing, strength producing tissue, right? So even though the percentage of your overall lean body mass goes up, you still lost some muscle. So when it comes to muscle, percentage, don't worry about that. Look at percentage of body fat. But what you want is you want lean body mass total number to go up. Now, there's one thing to be careful for, which is when you're looking at lean body mass, that's all non-fat mass. So that means if your water weight goes down, lean body mass obviously uh, measures as going down as well. And this will sometimes happen with body fat tests where you'll get tested and if it, if it doesn't test water in your body and then it may look like you lost lean body mass, but really you're just not holding as much water, especially if you go from a higher carb to a lower carb diet. So this is us talking about a cut, right? Because yeah. that makes a difference. If you're on the bulk, I'd also be careful just chasing the the total the total number then, because that's well, as long as it's lean, right? But, that, but you, if you're chasing the total number on a bulk, you got to be because then you turn into like the bodybuilders. What happens all the time, right? Where they just they bulk and oh man, I'm, I've added three pounds of muscle, four pounds of muscle, ten pounds well, of muscle. Well, then you got to look at body fat percentage, right? Right, always. right. right. Yeah. So which depending on the direction you're going depends on how I'm I'm looking at this, right? I'm I'm looking at this like if I'm on a bulk, I'm I'm careful not to be putting on too much body fat percentage. Uh, as my total numbers going up, because you could add five pounds of muscle, but if you had to put on fifteen pounds of fat to get those five pounds of muscle, I'm I'm kind of over. Yeah, you it. you have to consider body fat percentage with either one. Body fat percentage is always percentage. That's always going to be what you look at, whether you're gaining or you're losing. But when it comes to muscle, forget percentage of lean body mass. Look at total muscle or total, I should say, because it doesn't measure muscle. Right, it's lean body mass. Look at total lean body mass. So percentage for fat. For lean body mass, total number is what's important. So as you get leaner or, or lighter on the scale, but you notice you're losing three or four pounds of lean body mass, so long as it's not water and you know it's probably muscle, you're going to notice some negative effects from that. You're going to notice maybe less strength, uh, slower metabolism, you know, possibly, for example. So always main, look at that number. Look at that total number for lean body mass. It's always very important. Okay. Yeah, no, that's, that's useful. I just... To answer the like cut or bulking question, I'm not really doing either. I was definitely bulking for a while just because I switched to lifting more often instead of cardio. And just like everybody says, uh, you're getting hungrier and hungrier and you're still losing weight and it's kind of mind boggling. But I eventually got to the point where um, the calories I was eating was super daunting for me. So mm. I just wanted to listen to my body and kind of cut back and just only eat when I was hungry and oh well that's that's so, a good that's a good choice Jacqueline you know I, I'm glad you said that because we talk so much about the importance of having lean body mass but if it's at the expense of you feeling like you're force feeding yourself right or the your quality of life has decreased then who cares which is actually yeah. a good place though because this is the, this is what I'm always you found your boundary that's right I'm always uh seeking this place for my client right when I get a client 
Uh, doesn't matter weight, uh, fat loss, muscle building. I, I want to get to a place where I've ramped that metabolism up so much that you look back at me as a client. You're like, Adam, yeah. I just, you, this is a chore. I'm a chore to eat this much. And I'm like, awesome. Now let's just listen to your body. Eat when you're hungry. Let's not worry about getting to a certain amount of calories, you know, but stay fed when you're hungry, eat, do make good choices. And then we get into that nice little intuitive place where I'm, I'm trying to get with all my clients where you're, you're, you're very satisfied where you're at. You're able to keep a, a, a lean, a lean physique, uh, at the same time. And then you don't feel like you're also stuffing yourself all the time. Right. Yeah. Cause I was starting to go down the path of like eating snacks or sugar in order to get to that calorie place. And I just, that's not the path I wanted to start down. So, um, in order to just real quick, in order to minimize the muscle loss, do you recommend changing like a program to like a prime or uh, more mobilization instead of lifting? in order to minimize that muscle loss? I mean, actually the opposite. Yeah. Yeah. The op- oh, okay. Anabolic okay. would be right. yeah. like an anabolic strength-based type of program. Yeah, and, and obviously keeping your protein intake high. The, uh, studies are pretty good on this. Like your, as your calories drop, your protein in- intake to minimize muscle loss typically needs to go up. So if you're around 0.7 grams per pound of body weight, uh, you can move up to one gram per pound of body weight while cutting, you know, maybe fat and carbs to bring your calories down. Just keep this in mind: if you, if we, if we reduce calories and we also change the signal of trying to get your body to build muscle to doing things more like mobility, it'll adapt in that direction, which it'll pare down muscle. So if we want to hang on to as much muscle as we want, you want to still send the signal that we were trying to build, even though you may not be feeding yourself that way, and that should help actually preserve more muscle while also obviously mm-hmm. keeping the protein intake up. Interesting. Okay. That's kind of counterintuitive to what I thought. So I appreciate uh, you (laughs) correcting that. No problem. Thanks for calling, Jacqueline. Yeah. Thank you. You know, that's, I'm so glad. Very technical question. You need to break all this down. I feel like. Yeah. So, so again, she's talking about percentage versus total with lean body mass. She wasn't even bringing up body mass. I know, but let's, let's simplify basically what she's asking because to me, even listening, okay, and I know exactly what she's talking about, that there's, there's a lot flying over a lot of people's head right now going like, oh, what did we just hear? You right. can, so percentage is just a percentage of your overall body weight. So that means if you are, you know, if you have 90 pounds of lean body mass and you weigh 100 pounds, it's really easy, right? 10% body fat, 90% lean body mass. If you lost 10 pounds on the scale, Nine of it was body fat, one was muscle. Your percentage of muscle, lean body mass, goes up a little bit, even though you lost a pound of muscle. But that's not that important. What you want with lean body mass is the total number. Now, the point that was important that was important to pay attention to was she said to maintain this lean body mass. I, I didn't. I felt daunting yeah. to eat this much food. And yeah, man, listen, building muscle is great, but not at all costs. Obviously, you could go on a bunch of anabolic steroids and you can live in a way that's just super unhealthy no, and maximize what? your muscle but you're not as healthy you don't feel as good and as expensive as shit one of the most one of the, the the biggest pains in the ass of competing was man when i had got up to that place where i was 230 and yeah. my, my metabolism was roaring you're i'm eating, eating hundreds of dollars oh, bro, of food a week i mean yeah 5000 calories, 5, calories, calories dude yeah. and like and if you want good choices like you're you're not just piling in garbage in there like that is expensive well that's the real part of the question i think she was trying to get to was the fact that she was starting to increase include like simple sugars and things into her diet that, you know, normally she wouldn't even have been trying to seek out. But, uh, you know, the calorie amount was just too much. 